Hi, we're Glenn and Amber Schwarm. And welcome to the Big Flip and Break. The Big Flipping Break is an opportunity like no other. We're gonna choose one lucky winner and we're gonna partner with you. We're gonna help you flip a house, but here's the best part. We're gonna provide all of the money for the purchase price and the renovation, and we're gonna coach you, and we're gonna mentor you through the entire process. We're gonna teach you how to develop your scope of work for the house, how, how, to, how, how to, to design it, how to crack the whip on the contractors. We're gonna help you through that entire process, how to stage it, how to get it ready for sale, how to sell it. And at the end of the deal, when everything is all sorted out, we're gonna split that profit with you 50-50. You hear That's that? awesome. We call it the big flipping break because this break is going to change somebody's life forever. Our casting call is now open for the big flipping break. So if you want to apply, if you want to be the one chosen for this, here's what you need to do. So tell us your name, where you're from, and who you are. Hey, Glenn and Amber. My name is Stephanie Champagne. It's David and Alicia Kay. Hi, guys. We are going to pick a lucky winner, so. I'm excited to see all these come through. Good luck. Glenn and Amber are passionate about helping everyday people create wealth through real estate investing. They flipped over 600 houses and teach a home flipping workshop. So when the invitation went out, submissions poured in. This is Chris coming from Hello. the Hello. My name is Chris. Let's Chris. meet some of the contestants. All right, let's check out these applicants. Ready? I'm excited. Yeah, this is cool. Here we go. It's David and Alicia K. Hi, guys. How you doing? Good morning, Glenn. Good morning, Amber. Kimberlyn is one of our students. My name is Chris Kramer, and I'd like to be the contestant on the next big flipper. The next big flipper. It's a big I flipping have a background. break. Hi, I'm Mike, and I think you should be for right this show. Hi, Glenn and Amber. Um, my name is Sage Beltrasitis. Hi, Glenn. So, Hi, what you gonna bring, Dane? My name Dane. is Dane R. Horton. My name is Kim. I'm 45 years old. I'm from. Brooklyn, New York. Hey there, Glenn and Amanda. Uh, I'm Amanda. Personality. You got the name wrong. Tell you this. this is Chris coming from you from beautiful New York City, and this is my audition for the Green House Flipping Show. Put the light on so you can see my face here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What the hell was that? It's your teeth. What's that? I'm a dentist, so I don't care about your teeth. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Josh Hughes, and I'm 50 oh, years old. I'm an elementary school teacher. I live in upstate New York. Hi, Glenn and Amber. Jacqueline Rhodes here. 27 from the Bronx. The Bronx, okay. And I'm Yorkers. submitting yeah. this. What's up? My name is Dorian, AKA D. Dot. That's what my friends call me. <laughs> my name is Divinity. I'm 20. Um, I didn't know if there was an age restriction, but She's you know, I'm still send my video in because, you know, yeah. it's worth a try, right? Why not? All right. Yeah, I'm 20. Mr. Joshua Hughes. Josh Hughes. Mr. Josh Hughes. Let's see how we do, Josh. And I'm 50 years old. I'm an elementary school teacher. I live in upstate New York. And Love I'm him. throwing my hat in the ring uh, for the big flipping break. And here's why. <laughs> I like I have, it. But well, more it's importantly than here. just learning new stuff is learning new stuff from somebody who knows what they're doing. <laughs> Which you, you Amber, like, and Glenn you know, obviously know what him. you're doing. You flip lots of houses, help lots of people. He's not afraid of the camera, and he's also driving while he's doing this, yes. so his yeah. focus is good yeah. too, you know? Years ago with somebody who was not he's not just sitting there, you can see Wait, he's not going So he failed with somebody else before. A, a, a train wreck. <laughs> train wreck. Train wreck. At least, so I'm going to be retiring from, uh, from education. Good in, energy. In a couple of years. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, he's in education, so he can, he appreciates the value of education. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Do it on my own. I'd rather learn from the learning. So, learn hope that helps learning. and I hope to hear from you soon. Cool. Later. Later. He's, <laughs> he's awesome. He's got good attitude. He's yeah, awesome. I mean, he's got good energy. Too. He's awesome. Yeah. I like that. I always like the name Lily. Lily's my favorite flower. And you guys are willing to do it. I'm worth it. Um, but I live a pretty sporadic life. What does that mean? See. Sporadic I life. Domestic violence oh. at home. I take whatever somebody gives me and I fucking do what I got. All right. Do. She tells it like it is. And I like I that. I know that if I'm just given a chance, like I'm right I here, you're yelling in my ear. Being a real estate investor is something that's important to me because that's how I'm gonna really build generational wealth. Generational so wealth. So I'm trying to it. get my family out of the history that we've had. I'm doing this journey alone and I'm gonna make it happen. Happen. She's a fighter. She is. I like her spunk. All right. When my mom was pregnant with me, the doctors told her that I was going to be a miscarriage, that I'd never make it to full term. Even before I was born, I had a reputation of defying the odds and doing things that other people might not accomplish because I don't give up. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of very deserving and wonderful people that 
are going to be up for consideration. That's nice of her to acknowledge that. And mm. if I am not chosen, I might be do- knocked down right now. But you know what? I always get back up. You go, and girl. I will reach my goal. She's a fighter. I'll give her that. That's Kimberly. Now we're to Dane. I think you guys should give me the time and the opportunity and the connections and the money to let me do this house flipping thing that I know I can do it very, very well. If you give me the opportunity, and when I'm finished, you'll be like, woo, he's got some really good <laughs> He's taste. got good he's energy. Really good. It's something that I've always wanted to do. <laughs> it's a TV show, so just, I'm really funny. You are. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> <Like he> loves me. <laughs> Everybody loves me. And, um, Modest. Y'all should really give me a chance. Um, <laughs> why do I want to win the show? It's for the money, of course. I've been I like the honesty. Struggling, and yeah. struggling. So once I learn how to do this, then I won't struggle anymore. Give me a shot at it, all right? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> I like him. He's close enough, so I like that. <laughs> He's cute. Yeah, yeah. All right, Divinity. Divinity Glenn. Divinity I'm, Glenn. I like that name. That's Divinity like, Glenn. yeah, together. What I did was I went to trade school. And I she obtained her own video. in carpet yeah. and construction technology. I'm, you know, trying to start wow. this seven streams of income right now because sure this kind of yeah, she is. look too good. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like reading a lot. I'm a student to anybody, whether they're bad or good. I never look down on anybody. What a good attitude. I'm always looking up. Totally. Yeah, and I'm 20. Like, if you, it's easier to teach somebody young so they can go <laughs> <laughs> She's selling herself. Yeah. Yeah. You can give I people love money. I her. Yeah. Right. Dorian Brown, here we go. What's up, Dorian? What's up? My name is Dorian, <laughs> a.k.a. <laughs> that was funny. Dot. You That's said what's up, me. what's up? I believe I deserve to win Glenn and Amber's time, connection, and money because I deserve a second chance. About eight years ago, between May 2011 and June 2012, I made a poor mistake in judgment, and that cost me in 2015 to plead guilty to grand larceny in the oh. third degree. My criminal background may say that I'm a felon, but I'm more than that. I'm a father, a husband, brother, a loving, caring person who gives back to this community. I just hope you guys pick me and know that you'll be working with someone who's ready to work, eager to learn, and who would make sure that you have a return on your investment as well. What I really appreciate about him, though, is he he made a mistake. Yep. <clears throat> he looks like he's owned up to it and yep. has learned from it. And... My dad always said, if you want to dance, you got to pay the fiddler. Yeah. And that's he's paying now. He's paying it, but, he's, yeah. but he had courage to do that. So. Yeah. All right. Richard. Richard Bannock. This is actually one of the first times I've ever made a video, but I see Zoom has an application to make a video. So Zoom is doing the trick for me. So uh, let's let's see if a 63-year-old man. That used to sound old, not so old anymore. <laughs> <laughs> old is always 10 years older than you are at the moment. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Right I like to win. I, I, uh, I like to win. I want to win. That's I good. I successful in everything I do. And I kind of have a philosophy in life that if there's a problem, fix it. Find a way out. Never give up. I have That's on my you. Wall over here, Winston Churchill quote, never, 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 never give up. It's a good quote. Let's see, Michael. Let's see what Michael has to say. Hi, I'm Mike, a single father of two boys. My wife passed oh, away from breast cancer and I'm just doing the best I can. I work for the post office and I, I know a little bit about real estate and I, I would hustle and I'm... Um, it would be a great opportunity. I appreciate it. Thanks again. Uh, my name is Mike, and uh, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity. If it would be great, thank you. Bye. Short and sweet. Yep. We heard you got a new show coming called uh, "My Big Flip and Break," yes. and I think we should deserve a big flip and break, right? I think so. Hey, I mean, it would be a really cool experience. It would be a great experience. Look how cute they we, are. I've been a pastor for the past fifteen years, uh, helping a lots of people. Um, helping them with their lives and the struggles oh, that I they're going that. through. Yeah. Alicia. It's not just I've been all a stay-at-home mom for 14 years and uh, on the side I've always done different jobs and different odds and end things to make things work and you know work with our budget um, yep. but we've always always taken an interest into the flipping houses and Real estate investing. Yep, real estate investing. And um, yeah, I mean, this would be a really cool opportunity to be able to learn from Chris. They were awesome. They, they were really good. And you know what she said? She said, um, we've done really well with even limited resources. Yeah, so that yeah. tells me that they've got some tenacity and, and grit. And I like you know, the color of her curtains. They're one of my favorite colors. Well, so really we, best, we, we might have to move them up there. That's, yeah. that's a very well, defining that tells me, factor. Well, that tells me she has good taste. <laughs> so that's important. Something I didn't even notice. Something in the, tur- the turquoise family, yeah. All right, here we go. Mercury Robinson. 
I'm from Brooklyn, New York. She has a good smile. That's right. And uh, I worked for um, Rapid Realty uh, for about four or five years. (laughs) It was a lot of fun. And uh, I would like to try again. Just never really had a mentor or had anyone to really sit down with me to really provide the real help and um, guidance that I need. Um, So I feel like I should throw my hat in the ring for this opportunity. I cut off. That was it. Well, out of that round of people. Yeah, were there any standouts for you? I I think I think that there David, were two standouts for me. David and Alicia yep. were one for me. I like that they want to help other people. They're in the ministry. They're already doing good things for the community. They have three kids. They were the only couple on there. You're right. Right? Those You're are the only right. couple. We have I mean, couples are yeah. nice because yeah. just they just, you know. It's more brain power on it, and it's more of a support system when they're. It's more of a support system when they're uh, when times are tough. Yeah. Because it gets hard. Yeah. So when you're hard, you and I are able to talk. You know, if you sit by yourself, you can spiral. Right. But when you're sitting with your spouse, at least you have someone to talk to. They'll have us to talk to. But plus, she said she's been a stay-at-home mom all these years, and you know how I feel about helping. You know, moms that still want to be able to have the flexibility of of being a stay-at-home mom, but also bring in income. So. Right. Well, this is fun. Yeah, it was. All right. As the applicants continue to come in, Glenn and Amber move into the interview process, and one couple continues to rise to the top. All right, so it's about that time. We've got to start picking somebody, right? We've had a lot of people we've talked to, and they've been good people, but we've got to start picking somebody to give their big flipping break to, right? we yeah. got to figure out who that's going to be. Um, I made some notes, and I'm wondering who. I'm wondering what you're thinking. So, what are you thinking? Well, there were a lot of good applicants, but yeah. I'm really leaning towards David and Alicia King. They just seem like really good people. Yeah. I had a lot of front runners in my head, but, but they stuck out more than anybody else to me too, for a few reasons. I'm wondering why you think, like what, why did it come out to you? Well, I mean, like I said, they're good people, but also, you know me, I love to help other moms because if they own home mom, she homeschools the kids. So I just, I just think it would be really cool to help her. They strike me as hardworking people. Yeah. You know who they, you know what, you know what I like, I think the most, I like that there's two heads on the project, and two heads watching our money right. at any given time. Not just one. Yeah, there's two heads, because you know, that way they're not being distracted by their spouse or whatever. This, they're actually working together on the right. same page. You know, I, I like that too. And that's kind of the icing on the cake for it, but we still have to make sure they have the aptitude for this. Like we still have to make sure that they can- A hundred percent. You know, stand up to the pressure because, you know, flipping houses always come with problems, as you it know. It does, so, yeah. so we have to get them in the field and get them in a house right. and see if they can hold up the crowd. Yeah, so what's our next step with them? We're gonna get them in a house. Hey, we hope you're really enjoying the show as much as we are. We were so excited by the response that we got when we started the Big Flipping Break, and we have had so much fun going through each and every entry. It's been so fun to watch all these people and how excited they are, and they want to flip houses like Amber and I have for 15 years, and it's been such a pleasure to help people over the years, and now diving in and really helping somebody hands-on is gonna be awesome, so. Yeah, so if you want to hang out with Glenn and I and our team live for three days and learn from us all of the nuts and bolts on how to get started and grow your investing business, then you need to go to the homeflippingworkshop.com. Yeah, so go to homeflippingworkshop.com. The cool part is you can learn right from the comfort of your home, just like you're doing right now. So go grab a ticket if you want to, and we'll see you really soon. Hey, let's get you back to your show. Glenn and Amber are joining David and Alicia on a walkthrough in Schenectady, New York, to get to know them better. This house is a three-bed, two-bath bungalow built in 1934. It sits on a third acre and is ready for a makeover. Great to see you. Hey, how you doing? I get sued for no mask later on. Here we go. Alright. Go ahead, brother. So this is the kitchen. This is a small little kitchen. What are you thinking? It's very retro. It is retro. So we, we are thinking to clean it up a little bit, put new countertops on, and do a nice, nice backsplash. Um, we were actually we have new appliances. We're actually surprised for the age of the cabinets, how good of shape they were in. Um, and we were seeing a lot of different people doing that retro style. Yeah, so you want to keep the metal back, the, keep the cabinets? That's what we're thinking. We're kind of trying to go between the prehab or the rental exit strategy. So the rest of the house, uh, this is our living living space. Okay. Floors are in, in good shape yep. from yep. what I could tell. These are laminate from what I could tell on it. 
Here, it I don't, almost looks more like a linoleum. It's linoleum. Not. I wanted the same thing. Oh, it's, got, yeah. it's got it's got seams. So what else we got this? We got the what else we got? Then we have the front porch okay. area. Since we wanted to do a quick thing, I know we had seen other people like make it part of their living room. Yep. But the being tight on the finances with it, um, we didn't think that that would be yeah. advantageous to, to yeah, do that. Yeah, you have to heat and insulate. Right, right. Yeah, it's yeah. a whole different, a whole yeah. different problem. Okay. Is there a bathroom down here? Yep. yep there's we have a bathroom, bathroom right, here. right over here. Yeah. So this is our the downstairs bath. Um, they do have a, a handicap accessible tub. <laughs> so we're just bath. thinking to replace the sink with a vanity and paint. They liked this flooring, didn't they? Yes, yeah, they did. It's everywhere. It's got a special on it. <laughs> and this is the, the bedroom. downstairs bedroom. A little uh, narrow. A little narrow. Right. This one's a little narrow and it's got the paneling, so we'd have to. But we were thinking paneling. even if we, when we stage it to possibly do like, you know, an office, set it up mm -hmm. as an office, that, that idea, but it can be used as, as a bedroom and has a, you know, a twin size bed maybe. Bedrooms Kids worth bedroom more. Or, yeah. Bedrooms yeah. Worth, more. Worth, worth more. Worth more. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, I think we would still label it as a bedroom, but yeah. give a person ideas on like what they can do. It would fit a bed. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's not the worst. We've, right. we've definitely done smaller rooms, so. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go see upstairs. Okay. So let me give you a tip on how to check your roof. Okay. Always look from an upstairs oh. window. Oh. Okay. Right? okay. Always take a look at the outside window. You so know. this looks decent to me here, but Put I did back. see the buckling on the. So you know it's older <laughs> mm -hmm. when you look at it. When you, if it's a three tab, they really don't sell three tab anymore. You can, I think you might be able to special order them, but okay. most of the time they look like that. The architectural shingle where it has the raised up and down, up and down. Okay. And those started about 20 years ago. So okay. usually you're talking about earlier than 20 years ago okay. for this, just to give you an idea. All right, so solid bedroom, closet, yeah. well, kind of functional. Kind of, there we go. Not a leash of functional, functional, I guess. It doesn't know him, but it's functional. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it works. Closet. It works. Yep. All right, let's check out the bathroom. Yep. So this is that half bath in here yep. that they was previously a little bedroom, but yeah. they wanted to turn it into a half bath. This is a big half bath. Right? Yes. <laughs> So what did you want to do? Um, we wanted to make this a nice bathroom. What were you then thinking though? What were you thinking? We were thinking shower and shower leaving tub. that vanity. Um, and then also the laundry over here. I think the laundry, but, I think that's a really good spot for the laundry. Let's look at the basement. Let's not measure that up yet. Will you stop building stuff already? For God's sake, you get all their money spent. They haven't even, they haven't even got started. It's gone oh already. <laughs> so furnace is new, hot water heater, ish right. right what's yeah. older new electrical panel yep new electrical like panel yeah. now okay. sewer or septic mm. oh i don't think i, I believe i can tell you what it is i think it was septic, septic. yeah so, septic okay. okay so here so septic okay it goes out uh, the, go. goes the okay. back of the house and waist high almost not every time almost always that's going to be a septic if it goes at the front of the house and on the ground, that's going to be a sewer. sewer. Okay. All right, let's go back. Let's, let's, let's go back upstairs and talk. You were thinking one seven. You were thinking one sixty five. You were thinking one seventy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were going back and forth a lot. Yeah, because it's not in a neighborhood. It's on a main road, mm -hmm. and then we're like, okay, well, Chrysler divides between here and like Colebrook. Mm -hmm. So we weren't sure. You're smart. Okay. You're, you're smart. You're, you're going to lose some by being on a busy road for sure. Yeah. On the evaluator, we had um, all paint, 3,000. 3,000. Um, we had 5,000 in the kitchen because we were thinking of replacing the countertop and then just cleaning up the cabinets. Um, so let me ask you, did that hurt resale? I don't think it helps. So you're taking a risk to be a little trendy. Right. Right. We're trying to save money, but be trendy. Right. Does it limit our pool of potential yes. buyers? Yes. Uh, guaranteed. Okay. Hey, everybody. We hope you're enjoying this show so far. You know, if you followed Amber and I for any length of time, you know that our mission is to help everyday people create wealth through real estate investing because that's who we are and that's what we did. 
So to that end, we want to get to know you and we would like you to get to know us. So we want to make sure we connect with you on social media and give you as much information as we possibly can and Amber's will tell you how to do that. Yeah, the best way to do that is to go to glennandamber.com and on that website, you're going to find links to our upcoming home flipping workshop. You're going to find links to our podcast, The Real Estate of Mind. And there's also links to all of our social media platforms. So whatever platform you use, Please like us, follow us, connect with us, and make sure you comment on any post with questions and, and comments. We personally respond to all of those. Yeah, we love to do that and interact with you guys. So listen, you can also get a copy of our book, The Birth of the Everyday Real Estate Investor on there. There'll be a link to take you over to Amazon and grab that book too. Remember, we our mission is helping everyday people create wealth through real estate investing, just like we did with David and Alicia. So with that, let's get you back to the show. All right. Well, I guess it's time to tell them, huh? It is. I'm excited. Moment of truth. How are, how are you feeling about it? No, I feel really good. I mean, there's always a little bit of skepticism just because you don't know what you don't know until somebody gets into it. But, you know, I, I feel pretty good. How you know, about so, you? Yeah, I, I feel good. I, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Too. You know, it's a lot of money, right? Depending on what size house we find, how much, what the renovation we decide. We're, we'll be spotting them anywhere between one hundred and fifty and dollars and $250,000, quarter million dollars. So... You know, there's a little bit of hesitation there, of course, but I but I feel good about it. Um, I think we have to let them know, and uh, I'm going to play with them a little bit when I bring them on. I'm going to let them think that they didn't get it at first, and we're going to play with it. So let's see. Oh, why am I not surprised? Yeah, we got to have a little fun with them. You know, it's got to have a little fun. Listen, I, I got to give them pressure out of the gates, right? It's true. Got to give them pressure out of the gates. So I just texted them and told them to join us. So let's see if they uh, come on here and join us, and let's see how we do. Hey guys, how are you? Hey Alicia. How are you? So listen, so we have, uh, as you know, this has been quite a process, right? We've been through a lot of uh, applicants and a lot of, um, you know, folks that we we want to give that big living break to. And I, I, I respected you guys enough to tell you personally, face to face, that I don't have the best news for you today. Um, so bear, bear with us uh, as we get through this, but you're probably going to be stuck with us a lot because uh we just chose you guys to be on the big flipping break what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah how about that so you guys are uh you guys are it uh, what do you think that 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 is uh oh we're so excited yeah like that's but also so nervous <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not as you, as you should be. So now the rubber hits the road. Now yeah. we got to get you guys in a house and see what you're yeah. made of because none of this matters until we find a house for you to flip. We're going to go through this together. It's going to be a journey together, right? Thank you so right. much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Be in touch. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Bye. Bye. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> David and Alicia have won the contest, but the real game is about to begin. They have to find a house to flip. They're asking 174 right now. There's no money in the budget at all for well anything. Win Glenn and Amber's trust. Oh, wow. They were asking 179. So why is that a deal? Um, because that seems really high. And prove they can handle the pressures of house flipping. Do you have any offers on the house as of right now? So we do have multiple offers already. It all starts on the next episode of The Big Flippin' Break. Our mission is to help everyday people create wealth through real estate investing because that's who we are and that's what we did. So if you like our style, you like the way that we teach, you like that we're very real and tell you exactly how it is, then go grab our book on amazon.com right now. Listen, we wrote the book, The Birth of the Everyday Real Estate Investor, How Real Estate Not Stops Create Wealth because that's our life. We've built all of our wealth through real estate investing. We know how to do it in any economy, in any market cycle, in any inflationary cycle. If you buy the houses right and you know the exit strategy, you can do it. The book chronicles where we started, tells lots of stories and gives lots of real hardcore advice and tells you exactly what to do to be a successful real estate investor just like Amber and I did. So please go to Amazon right now and grab the birth of the everyday real estate investor because the world has changed and real estate is where it's at. No matter what the economy is doing, real estate is always where it's at. So go grab the book if you love it, if you found it helpful and you learned a lot, Give us a good review and we'd love to meet you in the future.